Hi everyone, I'm Donna Lopez. Welcome to PTS Energetic Transmission Sessions. And this is your mid-month energy forecast for March 2019. It is about 9.48 on the 14th. And I look at my calendar, so if I look away, that's all I'm looking at is my calendar. So we're going to look at the 15th through to the 17th and see what's happening, all right? Hmm. Wow, it's really interesting. <laughs> They're saying confidence is a killer. Um, I, so for some of you, I want to say take a few steps back. Uh, if you're feeling overconfident, step back, take a breather, and maybe do some extra research. We are in Mercury retrograde, and I don't know for how long, but she's been having a good party with most of us. I know I've been having some computer stuff and different things. So um, step back, rethink, revisit, all right, uh, whatever it is that you are feeling very confident about. Dial it down a little, okay? Uh, you'll maybe, or maybe go back and, and revisit it and see is there something I'm missing and bring in a little humility, all right? Hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> all right, and I'm also hearing that the, these days ahead are going to be very even, even keeled. Uh, I don't see... I, I do see some pushing later on near the end on Sunday, you know, I want to say near the end. Uh, but right now, just from uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the 15th through the 17th, I, I feel uh, a pretty even keel of energy. For some of you, there are new doors opening. You are right at the precipice of opening a new door. Your hand is on the doorknob and you are ready to open that door. And it is work related. So this is right there for, for some of you. As we know, we're not all opening a new door, but they, there are some new energies hitting us right now that are where it's time to pop out of the shell, okay, and come to, uh, like step into what our fullness a little bit more, things that we've been sitting on and brewing. But for some of you, it's like right there. I also see teaching with uh, many of you as well, so I feel like this also is has something to do with teaching. For many of you as well, I feel that spiritually, and I, I want to say the way that you receive your feelings of feeling, let's say, purposeful, uh, healthful, uh, that I see like um, things like things that were not clear. I see things opening up and clearing. So you're getting like, aha, oh, I get it. I see. I see what's happening now. Uh, just much more clarity. And I, I'm hearing clarity and control because I feel like this clarity that is coming in is also going to give you some control around some uncontrollable emotions, they're saying. And even, I want to say even for some of you, your mind has not been able to follow thought patterns in an even pattern. It's like you get a thought and then it just goes away and or like your thinking is scattered. And so I'm feeling much more smoothing out uh, with thought patterns as well. For some of you, uh, there's going to be some, uh, I'm hearing presence. I, I, I stopped for a minute because I thought, do they mean presence, like being present? Uh, but no, as some of you, it's birthday time or there's presents coming to you. I just also feel that some of you are buying a home and there's a home coming to you too. I, I It's like I see that, um, you know, like Saturday, Sunday, right in that time. I know it's St. Patty's Day, so, you know. Everybody would be celebrating probably. But this has to do with uh, a present coming to you. Recognize too that when you have uh, been being the best version of yourself, the universe loves that and loves to come in and, and, and send somebody a thought pattern to gift you something. So be aware too that these presents, if it's not your birthday, that these presents would be coming to you as a thank you note. Thank you for being there for me. Thank you for your kind words, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. kind of information. All right, it's really funny because they're talking about Sunday and they're talking about uh, here's the church, see the steeple, open the doors and see all the people. I, I feel like some of you are going to have uh, kind of like 
an epiphany of that, that, that the people that you worship with have, have that these are your fellow that travelers, your people, they're your people. You're in the same vibration that there's a love and there's a camaraderie and there's a, an extension of a family there. All right. I also see that if some, I feel like some of you might be owed some money and I feel like Sunday later in the day, you're going to be receiving the money. I don't feel like it's a large sum, but it's enough that it made it that, that you'll appreciate it coming back to you. Let's put it that way. All right. Let's look at the 18th through the 22nd. That's Monday through Friday. Well, for many of you, I see right away making very deep strides. It's um, really putting forth the effort to get a lot done in a short period of time. Um, like I'm going to make sure that I tackle that and get that done. And, and I just feel uh, great strides. And I feel like you will accomplish what it is that you're putting out in front of you, what it is that you want to um, take care of. <clears throat> For some of you, I want to see around Wednesday, Thursday, they're, they're saying don't get caught in a turnstile. You know, a turnstile is one of those doors that, that, that you get in and it turns around and everything. And, and you know, they said don't get caught up in looped thinking or this uh, repeat and repeat and from, uh, of, of just repeating the same pattern over and over again. Or like, how did I get up in this mess that doesn't belong to me? All right. Uh, in other words, don't borrow trouble. Don't get involved in anybody's issues that don't belong to you. Allow people to work through things on their own. I also see that there's a completion and a, and a closure for some of you closer to Thursday. I feel like you have done your work for spirit and um, that it's, um, it's not like you won't be opening the door to do that some more. I just feel like there's something specific that you set out to do and you've accomplished it. It's because I see this candle being blown out and it's like, I did it. I completed that task. I, I took care of it be like a project even. <clears throat> I also see by Friday that some of you be careful that you're not punishing yourself, that you're not imposing, like putting yourself in a corner and then getting frustrated and mad at yourself. Like I did this to myself and I deserve to be here punished, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, they're saying, you know, I feel like if, if you get caught up in that, they're saying that that is just happening because you don't want to do anything different right now. Let's say, you know, it's it's like I want to just stay in this corner and, and suffer because I don't trust myself enough to not do it again or to make a fool of myself, actually, is what I'm hearing, too. All right. You know, it's funny to look at our patterns. It's okay if we do certain things, if we want to punish ourselves, but kind of figure out, you know, why am I doing that? And what is, what purpose is it serving? And for many of you, it is um, giving you a reprieve. But you can also get a reprieve by just going, okay, lesson learned. I'm going to take a reprieve before I move forward on anything. Um, I love myself and I love that uh, I got the lesson from the situation. But um, I'm going to take a reprieve and then I'll. I'll move forward. It's okay to do it like that. It's a little different. All right, let's see if there's anything else during that week. I do see some healing coming for many of you. A lot, a matter of fact, quite a bit of healing. It's almost like just this breeze of healing coming right through. I feel like some of you even have been having some headaches, maybe even some nausea. Um, and I don't know if it's related to the headaches, but I just don't feel that you've felt as well as you know you can feel. Uh, so I see this healing energy coming in and supporting you. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Let's look at that weekend, which is the 23rd and the 24th. Let's look at that. Well, for some of you that have been on the fence, you're getting off of the fence right away. It's like, I've made a decision. I'm no longer indecisive. I've made a decision. And for some of you, I also hear wedding. I feel like there's going to be a wedding for some of you. Um, like you're going to go to a wedding, attend a wedding, or decide I'm, I'm, I'm having a wedding. Uh, there's something around a wedding. But it, it, I feel like that is kind of around the decision also for some of you. Of course, this won't fit everyone. All right. Uh, for others of you, they're saying 
watch that you don't become reckless, especially when driving the car. Um, for some of you, I'd like you to, you know, if you've been having a little thought pattern around, my car doesn't sound right, it hasn't been running well, get it checked out. Uh, especially the steering column, you know, I feel like there's some things happening there. So you just want to, you know, don't procrastinate on car maintenance. Let's put it that way. Mm -hmm. uh, hmm. <laughs> For a lot of you, even uh, Sunday, I hear hallelujah, praise God. I feel like uh, it's like I'm free at last. <laughs> it, I feel like you have gotten out from some cumbersome situations project something that is like just feels good that I disconnected and uh, it could even be with love I want to say maybe moving away from someone that is not harmonious to your energy and it's like you finally like oh gosh I'm out of that I it's not my energy it's not my vibration hmm, interesting there are plenty all right and then um all right, we're going to look at the 25th through the 29th. That's Monday through Friday. Well, I feel like uh, right away, I feel like a lot of projects got taken care of. It's almost like as if you, if somebody put up sticky notes, remember this, reminder that, do this, uh, go to the grocery store for that. And I feel like you've taken all of them down. Like you're really, really, I got took care of all of it. So there's finality and um, completion right away and it's only Monday <laughs> so I feel like it's it's just like I'm getting in and a lot of things just getting taken care of I also see summer plans are being made uh, during that week it's what I'm going to do in the summer vacation for the summer um, Europe for some of you I, I and Asia is coming up as well so I see some big plans for some and summer vacation for others All right, let's see, what else? I also see that, I want to say sometime in that week, I, I'm really feeling like Tuesday through to Thursday, I'm hearing the word hollow, um, as if that person didn't really come through, or that promise was hollow, there wasn't any substance to it. And, and I'm hearing something about substantial, su substantiate the evidence. So in other words, to, there's not enough evidence su to substantiate whatever uh, the, the, the situation or the um, issue is. Yeah, something's not going to get fulfilled. It's like that somebody says that they can do something and then they can't. They don't have the goods. All right, so I would say be, be mindful to just kind of step back and, and kind of be aware of that. And if there's any extra work you have to do to maybe take care of something that somebody was supposed to take care of that they didn't, it's better to be more prepared than not. I, I hear this a lot too with people that take online classes, you know, when they're in a group and they do the work and then the other people drag their feet or don't do it at all and then they've got to make it up and you know, as a collective, you're getting a grade. So, um, yeah, how, however this fits, if it's a project you're looking to be, to have completed and, uh, somebody, they don't, they can't do it. They can't do it and they don't do it. So yeah, be mindful. I also see near the end, Thursday, Friday introductions, people introducing friends to friends, especially important friends. You know, it's, it's, it's really wonderful to have somebody introduce you to someone that can help you. Somebody that has the knowledge, the insight, the uh, professionalism. Uh, it's, it's such an act of grace, really. You know, do for someone what you would want done for you. Want for someone else what you would want for yourself. The, the universe listens to that and the universe supplies right back and heaping up and, and flowing over. I do feel that that week is going to stretch out quite a bit. And it's interesting because I know that's not, I'm thinking it's Easter, but for some people, I think it is a vacation time. So I feel like uh, the days, it, the, the time is going to stretch out and it's going to be like, wow, you know, this 
my week feels really good. This week I've had off feels longer than I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. All right. Then let's look at the last couple days. The 30th and the 31st. That's uh, Friday, or uh, sorry, Saturday, Sunday. Is it? Let me see. Yeah, Saturday, Sunday. Well, I'm hearing step up. Somebody's going to say, I need somebody to do this, and I hear you stepping right up and going, I can do that. I can take care of that. That's me. I can do it. You know, so I see you really stepping up, and, and, and it's not taking charge, but it's like, I can do that. Helping with confidence. Lots of confidence. Feels really good. I do see like a little bit of travel too. I feel like somebody, uh, a few of you might get a little bug to say, you know what, let's just head out of town and go do this. Um, like they say, a wild hair. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> yeah. Let me see. I am hearing challenges. But I see this as you really thinking about challenges with friendships, specific friendships. But I don't feel challenged by it specifically as much as recognizing that there's, there's some challenges, some things to smooth out, um, make, make things a little more cohesive, um, maybe even thinking of a way to help people comprehend certain things. So um, it's not so much of a challenge, like feeling the challenge, but knowing that that could be a challenge. Perhaps I should speak to them in a way that they can understand and uh, that, that would help address this, what could be perceived as a challenge. All right. Um, all right. So let's look at the... 15th all the way to the 31st and see what we're getting here all the way through. Well, they're saying get ready to work. Get ready to work. Boy, they've got my hands going. Ooh, yeah, they say get ready to work because they're saying that they are building up the energies and, um, you know, they are really working to build the energies in you um, because you're ready. You're ready. You're ready. Uh, the days ahead will come to you. Uh, they're saying you don't have to seek anything out. Things will happen for you. I like this. <laughs> um, they also say that uh, some of you that had set out to do things uh, independently, they said that you might find yourself um, coming back and, and getting assistance and, and actually liking it, liking it, like, yeah, I never thought about allowing somebody to help me or how this, that these people could come in and help me, but that sounds really good. I feel like I'll go further with that. Mm -hmm. I also see some little bit of rearranging. Uh, nothing big. Things will stay. This, it, it's like whatever you want to fulfill uh, will be, uh, will be, will stay the same. But the way you go about fulfilling it will change. You'll move some things around because it will make sense. Hmm. Well, I, it's fun because I'm hearing the word soliciting, soliciting. They keep saying soliciting, soliciting. I feel like people are soliciting will be soliciting you to listen to them to get your approval. That's really interesting. Mm -hmm. You know, you, sometimes we never know who's, how people see us or that we assume that people maybe are, you know, like, oh, you can do that and that you don't, they don't realize, uh, we don't realize that they don't know that they, they don't feel they can. And uh, so I see people reaching out to you and wanting you to assist them and give them some feedback, etc. I also see some ancient knowledge coming into some of you. Um, it's as though uh, some very ancient history, and, and I'm not talking about your ancient history from this lifetime. 
I'm talking about ancient history of the planetary system. There is, if some of you are, are attuned to that energy, that there's new insight information coming in. Um, I feel like it will be extremely impactful and I do see that soul memories will rise up with you as you um, understand I've been there, I've done that, I've had that experience. I remember. I don't know how I remember, but I remember. Very powerful. Oh, it's, I really, I'm hearing it's about civilization. So, interesting. Um, for some of you, I see you graduating. I see you leaving a situation. I see you, not a situation. I don't want to say it like that, but I want to say if there's a class you've been taking, you might uh, decide, you know what, I'm done. I, I, I got what I needed. Or if there was something you were a part of, I see you go, you know, going, it's like you're handing them the diploma and saying, I just graduated. <laughs> and uh, with love, you know, sometimes it's just you outgrow a situation or you outgrow. It's time for you to move on. You just get the hit. It's time to move on. I, I'm done with this and let's move on. And I feel a completion. But I also uh, see you saying goodbye. You know, interesting. Mm -hmm. All right. For a lot of you, I'm hearing unwind. You really need to unwind. A lot of you have gotten your energy so wound up. It's like a tight spring, and it, it's not going to spring and pop. Uh, it's like they say, they're they saying the same way you got yourself worked up energetically with all this is the same way you're going to have to undo that, unwind that energy. You know, some of you have gotten yourself into such an emotional bind an energetic tight spot just and it's just it's like somebody just taking and cranking you tighter and tighter and tighter and and you allowed it and you fed it and um, they're saying you're gonna have to to undo that and you're gonna have to undo it just like you did it in other words you're gonna have to wake up wake up to what you are in alignment with wake up to the stories you tell yourself um, Wake up to what you value, what you say is important to you. Reclaim yourself and reclaim your life. Wow. Um, yeah, I feel so so much um, emotion around that. This has been a very good teaching moment, though, for many of you. And you won't allow it to happen to you again. Because you will... Understand the value of having a healthy body, mind, and spirit. Yeah, I definitely um, see, see a lot of you, again, here near the end of the month. It's like they're doing the, the wave that the beauty contestants do. Um, uh, but it's all of you saying goodbye, goodbye, or I'm in the parade, goodbye. It's... Um, I feel okay, but it's it's like just a formality of goodbye. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think that's good for the month. I feel like things are going to sweeten up very very nicely for most of us, especially near the very end of the month, because I'm seeing that as well. So um, with that. Thank you very much. I will have an ETS activation up in the next, pretty soon. <laughs> I'm hoping today, but uh, if I don't get to it, it will be ASAP. And it should be up till um, till the night of the 17th or the, you know, the morning of the 18th. I'm going to leave it a little longer there. And uh, enjoy it. And many of you have reached out and said, you know, I really liked it. Uh, can, can I, how do I get it? It's in my store on my website, www.revdonnalopez.com. It'll be in the credits. And it's uh, there's energetic transmissions on my page. There's a section that says that. And underneath that, it says ETS Now. 
And in there, there are tons of activations for different things. And once you purchase it, it's yours to keep. But uh, the, these that I do, they do go in there. So they're up for you for free for about three days, and, and then they go in the store. So if you liked it and you want to purchase it and have it for your library, feel free. And if any of you would like your own private energetic uh, session, um, just contact me. If you have things that you that are specific to you, things that you're working on, whether it's um, you know physical pain, um, you know feeling stuck, um, abundance, uh, you know whatever the you know I've had people that are taking a test and they want to be able to take the test in a clearer space. You know they want to be where they're in the space where everything just falls into line. All right, and so that's what I do with those sessions. Or if you'd like your own private uh, spiritual reading, whatever, just contact me. And with that, I want to say thank you very much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. And I will talk to you again really soon. Thank you so much.